Greetings and salutations, my name is Cardoso and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are playing a beacon of ingenuity with the new Kruben, the robotic once upon a time turtles. Our color has expanded up until here, not because uh, that's our extra space, because this little guy here lives here. Um, no, not you. This guy, he's a protectorate. It's really annoying at the share space. But, oh well, nothing I can do about that except wage war. Which isn't something I actually wanted to do. It would be nice if I could vassalize these guys, but that would really dump my happiness again. Let's give this plan to them and vassalize the rest. Like, that's this. Uh, they, oh. They only have two systems left. Uh, how much war score would that actually cost me? I know I'm horrible. Pacifist, it's just... It's not going to happen, is it? Um, I thought you only had one planet. Where'd you win your phonax? Oh, look at that, you have an ally. Huh. So if we give you to those guys and a vassal. Vassal, vassal. I can't vassalize? I literally can't vassalize. Liberate. Uh, establish protectorate. That's it. Eh, not worth my trouble then. Out of curiosity, what about you? Whoa! Um, again, I cannot vassalize apparently. Stop atrocities. No, let's get the D gone. Humiliate, stop atrocities. Yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, Receiving transmission of defensive facts. Never mind. Never mind. You want to pay me for what exactly? Explosive weapon damage. These guys. How about new? Research concluded. Battleship assembly yards. Battleship operational. Uh, better to peers, please. So, get better cannons. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need to build after a battleship assembly yard. Should probably just kill. I don't know if they auto adjust or not. I just don't want to risk it. Five. Just remember five. I should be able to remember five. Watch me not remember five. Research concluded. Neutron torpedoes and Gaia creation. Awesome. Cool sector systems. Uh, let's go for cheaper water vents. You never know. You never know. Not assuming I'm going to need it. You never know. I'd like to be prepared. So we have unlocked Gaia creation. Uh, Twenty. Thousand energy credits over a span of fourteen thousand six hundred days. Let me get my calculator. Just how many months that would be? Because I am not going to be able to do that from the top of my head. About four hundred and eighty-seven months. It's about. Forty and a half years, during which time they will be unhappy. Let's do it. <laughs> just, just do it. Yeah, look at that happiness penalty. Ah, that's so bad. Minus twenty percent on going terraforming. Terraformation, even. 
40 and a half years. Is there like a science that could do it, make, make, make it or an ascension that does it faster? World shaper, terraforming speed plus 50%. Yeah, that, um. Also, a nice, uh, there's so many nice ascension perks, I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? Is. Galactic wonders would be nice. Especially just as a small empire, that's really useful. Is it necessary though? Eh. Construction project concluded. I don't know. It's not like I can terraform all my planets into Gaia worlds. Perhaps I perhaps I am. I don't know. Is really any benefit to it being a Gaia world? I don't know. Is there? Does it look to be? Uh, right, let's get our Admiral level cap increased by two levels. Do we even have an Admiral? We do. How old are you? Alright, that doesn't matter anymore, does it? Hmm. Construction project concluded. Lens of Darkness finished. Excellent. I wonder how big the habitat is. I wonder that every single time and forget every single time. The Kadeshi sovereignty has gone to Xenophytic. Receiving transmission. Construction project concluded. You want an act of censoring? Sure, show me all of your secrets. You're done building. Right, five battleships. I remember. There we go. What's if 33% increased speed? That is significant enough. I think. <laughs> oh, this is in our grasp, and I haven't yet concluded. Um, done anything about that. Give me my stations. Okay, you finished your surface construction. Yeah. Guess we'll upgrade that one. Yeah, sure. Upgrade the uh, all of the mining uh, facilities. What are you? You are the Fex Klanga Fire Tribes. Are you like something tiny up here? Yeah, you are. Oh, good for you. I suppose. Do we only have one awakened empire, by the way? Uh. The non awakened empire. It looks like it, yeah. Wow, the Foreign Confederacy and the Finian Multitude has finally stopped fighting. Now I can look how badly you don't want to be in Federation in my Federation. Very badly. War philosophy forbids wars of aggression. There's no no, no way I can turn it off is there. Alien Federation formed. Oh, that's just stupid. That pisses me off so much. <laughs> they form a federation. Why? You're you're just just why? Is all I have to say. Why? Why does everybody like them? They're jerks. Perhaps I should just switch over to militaristic, be done with it. Research concluded. Construction project concluded. That's a lot of different weapons I can research. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'll just start that, I don't know. No, no. I'll upgrade this guy. Uh, you build me a mineral thing in the Jake as well. Mining that work. There you go. Third actions. Who is my new leader? Previously, Admiral. Um, leader experience gain, I suppose that's nice. Lifespan, that's sure. Colony ship built, eh, I suppose it's okay. Robot resource production plus 5%. Well, I have a lot of robots, so that's fine. Which means I have no Admiral anymore. Which isn't fine. Not at all. Sign leader, I guess. Ah, oh, we don't have any more leader slots. I guess we shouldn't get in combat then. Ah, oh, dear. If they get more than... Well, this is already an like enormous slab of space. It's just... Infuriating. Why doesn't anyone want to be my friend? My god, I want to be a friend because you are me. I you also have a defensive pact. Do you have defensive pacts? You do have a defensive pact, but not a significant one. Totally not gauging up prey to increase my federation. No. I wouldn't dare. I don't think I will win this game. Just, I won't. No one likes me. I'm the most like peaceful, peaceful, docile, nice guys around. And everyone just, well, I would like you, but yeah. we don't want to be, uh, we're okay to be friends. Just. Don't like to be dead. <sighs> I want to be good acquaintances, not real friends. It's annoying. You're at war, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Another day, another size Everyone's characteristic. Oh, really? Go for uh, Empire Leader capacity so we can actually, you know, hire an Admiral. I know I have been fighting, but Admiral would be so bored that he goes into politics. That's just harsh. Right, let's get some more buildings going. More mining networks. Uh, basic science lab. After that, some upgrades. Yeah, it's a deal. Just continue on with the deals, all the deals. Uh, build stuff, okay. Uh, I suppose you could like stay more like this quadrant of space. This tiny, <laughs> this single planet is like, hello, anyone? That will be the advantage of ring world creation in all fairness. Oh, look at that! We build up that. You should probably upgrade. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Let me see, but it's the, like the first habitat I created with um, a species, with, with an empire that isn't a plantoid. <laughs> so, there are only 12. Ah, oh, that's tiny. It's, it's free, of course, but it's still tiny. Also, these things don't have adjacency bonuses anymore, so I can just plop them anywhere. Also, don't really care about the names. I'm going to build a lot of these. 
I really don't want to keep on considering names all the time. Once you're done upgrading, please build me another one. Sure, with this molten goodness. I thought about it, I'm not going to uh, transform all my worlds into Gaia worlds, simply because I'm robotic, I really don't need to. I can't see any advantage to a Gaia world, so... Habitability, but... Just look at my world, the habitability is already maxed because I'm a robot. Alright, you finish your construction queue again. How about we swap you guys? There you go. Have less happy pop work, a less productive dial. That's. Um, when did that happen? Why are we not making as many mineral or energy credits as I used to? I have been upgrading a lot of buildings, to be fair. Right. Communication is terrible. Siracor. What? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I mean, there was another one. Welcome to Xuracorp. We are a business conglomerate operating out of the Rackium system, specializing in the trade of minerals and energy, the very building blocks of civilization, as we like to say here at Xuracorp. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you're interested in making a deal. Xuracorp, you're almost... Um, Cardocorp, so you're fine. Actually, by the way, do we have your strategic resource? We do not. This is annoying. Government attraction. I need that in my life. Xurocorp. Communicate. I'd like to trade for energy credits. Yes. Doing this to increase your opinion. <laughs> if only all our customers traded with us in such bulk. Transferring credits to you now. Opinion plus one. Plus seven. But weird numbers. Uh, that's not the button I was looking for. We should be able to get your strategic resources right now. This is a product we at Xurocorp are particularly proud of. A medical division has developed a new gel with unique properties that will significantly ease the often difficult process of adapting to a foreign planetary environment. If equipped with this gel, your colonists will thrive on worlds even where their climates are particularly unforgiving. We are willing to export our patented Xura gel to you for a period of 10 standard years, after which your contract will be renegotiated. We will do this! Habitability plus 5%. Not because I my my people need it, but I do have like these um, slugs and space bears and whatnot and birds, lots of birds, kind of weird things. They're not even birds, but they could use the extra uh, habitability. But not specifically those. So. Yeah, it, it, will, it has some benefits. Um, let's get the colony ship first, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was wondering why it took so long to build. Actually, the colony ship takes longer, no, takes as long to build as a battleship. That's interesting. Face disruptor, kinetic battery, neutronium uh, armor. Particle lands. There's so much left in engineering that I really need to research. Good thing that engineering is really high. I haven't used any energy weapons as of yet. Um, I might add those to some ships. But maybe not. Okay. Good for you. They want to 
bring this guy down. I really don't think I can though, with just on the 50,000 power. Receiving transmission. What do you want? I suppose you're fine. Okay, speed on fast, it's just waiting for something to happen once more. Do we have. No, we, we literally do just don't have sight on Steroid Devour. If I use my construction ship, move there, I should be able to see. This could be useful. Right, the colony ship should almost be done. There it is. There it's coming. Look at that. Uh, you're, you're heading in the, in the boat. Yeah. Uh, it looks like I want to make a screenshot like, look, I am building my own home. I suppose this would work. Scream shot. It's not like any specific project concluded. Animation. For colonizing. Construction project concluded. No. No, there is not. Um the hegemony of rivalry, sure. There is the stars has finished surface construction queue. No, no mate, you haven't. Biolabs, biolabs. Everywhere, biolabs. And the shard of space apparently finishes surface construction queue. I suppose you have, yes. I guess I'll just build more labs. Labs, labs, more labs. Well, there we go. Now, if the habitat's tab, which will probably close really soon. <laughs> once, uh, it's just, this is one thing you just build a lot of uh, things on the habitat and then you're done with it. Not much you can do with it. It can't have any spaceports, unfortunately. So they're not, not extremely good at increasing um, fleet capacity. I mean, they can a little bit, but not that much. Okay, let's build some cruisers. There we go. That will bring it to 20, 30, 40, 80. For now. And just increase our fleet power just a little bit more. I'm not really going to use those. Construction projects. You know, they suck at shields. They are very good at armor. Uh, they are very good at armor. I might actually use them. Oh, look at that. My battleships are operational. There we go. Should be fine. It should be fine. I keep telling myself that. It's still called the Eye of the Universe Pact. That's kind of. Eh. How are you called? Star Axis. Well, only the Federation President can rename it. Okay. Not much I can do against that. Oh, my science. Is everyone 
No, you're 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 good. You're not. Uh, you actually need this guy. Prolaxin, I believe. Yep. Why do I have a scientist available? Oh, that was my uh, ruler. You're going over there. And one. Of, I should have checked which science ship it was. Now I need to run them down. Oh, there we go. Your level seven, and the other one is level four. I'll take the level seven then. Get in there. Gnokin Gnocracy, Gnokin Autocracy Rifles. Okay, Particle Lance, Jack your lads. Oh, very um, good. Stuff. Okay, communication established. We are receiving a mission from the independent space station of the Rigan Commerce Exchange. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Interesting. The butterflies! I speak on behalf of the Rigan Commerce Exchange. We have facilitated trade negotiations between interested parties on a star basis in the GIL system for more than a thousand of your years. If you happen to possess more minerals and energy than you need, we are more than willing to take it off your hands. You will be duly compensated, of course. Actually, let's get a look at what you could give me for strategy to agree to your I do not like the fact that I cannot see that. Okay, let's do exactly the same as we did with the other guys. Except press the right button this time. What do you have? Rigan Spice is our most prized community commodity. It is renowned throughout the galaxy for its distinctive flavor, which is unlike any other. We sell it only to our most valuable trading partners, among which we count the beacon of ingenuity. If you can meet our modest price, we are willing to export Rigan Spice to you for a period of 10 standard years. Happiness plus five. Yes! Yes, please. So, sleepers awake. Oh no. Um, <laughs> it began as a subtle shift in who Fiduzan behavior. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now been spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels. Let's make a screenshot like it. Right, a soul. Yes. Highly advanced scouting vessels visited in ancient ruined worlds, refusing all hails and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission is unknown. Until now. We now know that the Hoven's are preparing, recovering the databanks of survey beacons and ultimate scouting posts left behind when they retreated to the present borders, gathering information for the return to the galactic stage. In Hoven Zan space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories roar to life. For the first time in an age, the Hoven Huviduzan Huvud, regulators are looking outwards beyond their borders and towards the galaxy at large as their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted and the dormant systems of titan foundries come online the rest of the galaxy is left with only one question who will this one sleeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age old glory lost giants in the playground and with that, we are going to end the episode. So, uh, that might very, this event might very well herald the finale of this series, <laughs> for good or for bad. Regardless, I thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you again next time. And until then, farewell. <laughs>